Hey guys, thank you so much for being here today. I'm going to be doing a psychic reading on Flynn and Portia. I don't know their last names. Um, the reason I'm doing this reading is because it was requested and there are rumors that will confirm rumors that Portia is engaged. So I have not heard anything about these people. I think I actually met I know, I met Nini, I think. Um, these people are on the cast of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Um, so, people are wondering what's the tea, like why, how could Portia do this? So basically, this man, Simon, um, was the best, was not best friend, was Portia's friend's husband, and they are not diver divorced yet. They're finalizing their divorce. <laughs> okay. My guides are telling me that men like to play Portia for a fool. Um, they're saying explicitly that she's getting played like a fool right now with this guy, Simon. Um, I'm not getting any good, I'm getting really bad energy from Simon, by the way, guys. Uh, getting an ancestry that was into very, very dark witchcraft. Um, and it's just like leaking off of him to the point where I can almost smell it. Uh, I don't really talk about like using my intuition. I think there's a, a clair for it when you can smell things. Yeah, but I can almost smell this one. It's very dark, so we're not really going to go too much into his energy. We're going to kind of focus on these two women. Um, and I, I also see a picture of her ex or husband or baby daddy, Dennis. Um, sorry, guys, I just lost the tab. I'm looking at pictures of these people. Okay, so... The energy I get from her ex-husband, Dennis, is very dark as well. But it's more of a trickster energy, the, this man, Dennis. I think this could just be her baby father. It might not be her ex-husband. I'm getting more of like a trickster energy from Dennis. And as for um, Simon, it's just straight up dark. Like he, this could be black magic being worked. Um, but I... I posted something on Instagram, guys, that it doesn't always have to be black magic. If you have an ancestry or a bloodline that is very negative, could or could not be into witchcraft, ancestry um, that was into witchcraft doesn't have to be anything recent, you can manifest bad things to happen to people by just thinking of them. Uh, this is something that very often reoccurs in my family without anybody practicing anything. So it's very real. Anyway, let's get back into Portia and Flynn. I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. The energy I'm getting from Flynn is a lot of pain, a lot of her being very manipulated by this guy. This man really manipulated her to the point where it's almost as though the chemicals in her brain have changed because of how badly this man has like just manipulated her. She, if you speak to her, I feel like if, if somebody was close to her, this is what spirit is telling me, people that are close to her feel like there's something a little bit off in her thinking process. And they're saying that this is a result because of him. So, first of all, let's just point blank. She is blessed that Portia is taking this man out of her her hands. Because I really feel like, and I, I'm not saying this maliciously, I really feel like Flynn could, could use, um, they're showing me something in her brain that is about trauma, is rewired. She could use a CAT scan on her brain. Um, and that's not malicious or anything. I'm just... 
if she off on the off chance sees this, it would be really beneficial. Uh, and as I'm saying that, I'm seeing white lights in front of me. Um, so I'm gonna keep going on about that actually. Uh, when when we have been in trauma and it doesn't have to just be emotional physical or verbal trauma a lot of times we don't talk about spiritual trauma when we're with somebody who is very negative very dark um if you work in a jail or something that energy kind of feeds off of you and that's also another type of trauma uh, i see that a lot with my friends um, my close friends and some of my clients. So I really feel like Flynn could could use extra help and I'm talking more so a neurosurgeon to, to help her out. Um, you know, just so she can get back on track with her life. I feel like a lot of things in her life are going to be very eye-opening for her in these next few months. And I think she's gonna slowly come back together, but she really needs to like harness her energy because she is detoxing a lot, a lot of bad energy. A lot of bad stuff is coming out of her. Um, they're showing me something about a pregnancy. I don't know if she's ever had children they're giving me like a lot of health information about her just to take care of her health um she might have might have tried to get pregnant in the past and it just never really worked uh the angels are saying to me that this is a blessing she was never meant to have kids or if she had a kid with him she was never meant to have more children with this man <sighs> all right that was a lot um as for portia I don't think she's a bad person. It's very, like, disgusting that she's taking this woman who is her friend's husband. Um, I don't agree with that at all. That's very, like, you know, disturbing to hear. I think she is kind of being manipulated by him, too. He knows how to get his way and I'm not saying that it, she's not at fault because she is. She, you know, very much went into this um, knowing who he was, knowing that that was her friend's husband. So I'm not going to sit here and say that she is not at fault. I don't think that she is as in love with this guy as she is portraying, though. I think there's a lot of secrets, there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes that she does not want to tell us. I feel like she's hiding something. Okay, what else? She's, she's not a bad person, but she's not a good one either. I'm not really getting the best energy off of her. I'm seeing that he is going to turn her into a worse person. <laughs> you know, she's going to do some things that are malicious, that are going to really shape her character in a way that is worse than how she already is. Um, a lot of ego for her. I'm getting a lot of ego from her. I do feel like she is a more and he's she's a more energetically intact person though and um she's not as empathic as Flynn so I feel like him and her would be a better match however we're not we're not going into that um anyway I kind of want to keep focusing on Flynn here because I do feel like there are blessings coming to her. Uh, the angels are really surrounding her now. They're connecting with me to connect with her and give her this message. Um, I feel like she has had some concerns about pregnancy and the angels want to let her know that 
they see her, they see the struggle that she's having. And um, there's a lot of, you know, just prepare your, prepare herself for like a lot of detoxing. The next few months are going to be rough, but a lot of movement is going to be happening in her life. Okay, guys, and um, I'm not going to comment on whether I see this lasting between these two people. Kind of say, kind of going to say no. <laughs> but we shall see. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys want a reading of your own, you can DM me on Instagram or go to the website in the description below. You can add me on Instagram for promotions, giveaways, um, my media predictions that have come true, testimonials, uh, everything like that. All right, guys. Bye.